February is Black History Month, and tonight we're highlighting one woman who has not only made a huge impact on the Kansas City community, but also on us. For more than 20 years, Cynthia Newsom has been a part of the 41 Action News team. She's made us laugh, cry, and given so much of herself to this community personally and professionally. Now as we celebrate Black History Heroes Among Us, it's only right that we honor her. Cynthia Newsom made her grand entrance into Kansas City in 1997. Good evening, I'm Keith King. And I'm Cynthia Gunn. She was doing weekends back then. We've seen her in the mornings. But regardless of when she was on, you saw that smile, you saw that energy, and you saw that dedication to the people of Kansas City. Starting with Awesome Ambitions, her college and career readiness program for girls. No one ever told me I could succeed. No one ever told me, give it a try, go for it, dream big. Girls like Melody Elston, who was part of the first class. I remember there being a workshop on um, self-respect and how important self-respect was. And I, when I tell you that stuck with me, um, I remember just hearing the importance of loving yourself and respecting yourself and how it will carry in all aspects of your life. Cynthia is someone who gives of herself, even with the trials that she's endured personally with her health. She's never put down the young ladies of Kansas City who need her help. We want you to use that on your way to preparing for your future. Cynthia is a woman who has always known what she wants. Even when she reached out to a friend to find a date for an upcoming event, she said, I'm not trying to find a boyfriend, nobody to marry like that. And so, so my brother Travis said, well, listen, let me just uh, ask my brother, uh, Ed, and just see what uh, he thinks. Not long after, Ed Newsom planned quite the surprise. Right here at 41 Action News, a proposal. <laughs> oh, I'm here, I cannot believe it. Thank you so much. Fits perfectly. Well, come off. She represents everything that we claim to be uh, in Kansas City. And I think that's what makes her, uh, you know, so amazing is that she, she is clearly a, a woman of prominence in our community, but she doesn't try to promote that at all. She tries to be who she is. This is not easy. Woo! You're killing me. From working out with Gary Lezak. Come on, 10 more. 10 more. <laughs> to never being afraid to try something new. We are going to go surfing. Are you ready to hang 10 with us? Cynthia has built a career that's transcended decades, highlighting how much a part of black history and our history she truly is. We'll be here to bring you the details. 50 soldiers from the 15th Transportation Company. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you here next weekend. I can only imagine what it was like getting into the industry 41 years ago as a black woman. Just to see her longevity is something that that I admire and hope to attain one day. Cynthia is one of the few that stuck around, that, that stayed through Kansas City, that weathered a lot. Both in front of the camera and off, Cynthia was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2011, taking us all inside her treatment. Her main interest was, I want to show this so others may be helped, you know, so others lives may be impacted by what I'm going through. My husband, Ed, has been with me at every appointment since my diagnosis. But there is hope and there is encouragement and, and just, you know, to stay strong and be there. Then there was joy. I'm finished. I am so glad to be back. I am officially now a breast cancer survivor. And her fight became fuel for educating others. Hello. Hi. How are you? Cynthia Newsom. I'm going door to door warning at risk women in Wyandotte County in a month long project we're calling Newsom's House Calls. After decades serving Kansas City and another cancer diagnosis, she's still dancing and showing how much she cares for this community and the people in it. Cynthia has built a legacy, first of all, let me say of love. When you meet Cynthia, you feel love. It would be very, very difficult to find somebody. Uh, who didn't think highly uh, of Cynthia Newsom? If they if they do, they need to leave town. I am just so excited to still be watching her, and we're proud of everything she does every day in our community. Now, therefore, on this date, I, Mayor Quint Lucas, hereby recognize Mrs. Cynthia Newsom for her years of service to her beloved community. And now to sign. Congratulations, Cynthia. We love you, and this is very well deserved to you from all the people of Kansas City. Well, Cynthia, listen, wow. <laughs> without the sometimes tough path you paved uh, in our industry and in this community, I would not be here. 
You have been a consistent source of encouragement for me, a conscience, and somebody I just simply pray I can live up to in my own journey. My friend, I say thank you. Oh, Cynthia, oh. when I came, they said that you were a legend, and after seeing that look <laughs> back at your career and all the lives you've touched, it's easy to see why you're incredible. And Cynthia, before oh. you make your statement, I just want to say you're, <laughs> you're such an inspiration. You've been so amazing through the years. I remember, I don't know, 25 years ago, you said, Gary, what do you think of Kansas City? And, and you and I had worked together in Oklahoma City, what, yeah. 35 years ago or something like that. <laughs> yes. But you're an inspiration. You, you have really, really been uh, uh, just being a cancer survivor, uh, inspiring so many people here in Kansas City. Oh, I tell you what, um, I, I don't know what to say other than I love you. I thank you all. Dia and Rex worked on this package. I had no idea Congressman <laughs> Cleaver was involved. My husband was involved. I got a call yesterday. Hey, make sure you're here at 630. That's all we're saying. And, um, and this has been such an honor, such a surprise uh, to look back over these years. Uh, 24 years here at 41 Action News, 41 years in broadcasting, radio and TV in my career. I wanted to wait till I was 41 years in broadcasting because I'm at 41 and I like that whole thought <laughs> because 41 means so much to me. I love you all, Dia. Thank you so much, Rex. My news director, my general manager, all my co-workers, I'm glad to be back here in the building. I'm doing great and I have to say thank you to the viewers, to Kansas City. I love you. I hope it shows in my stories. I love you so much. And I cannot leave without saying thank you to my husband. When I was first diagnosed with breast cancer, he said, I'm not going anywhere. And he hasn't. And I've been diagnosed again, metastatic breast cancer. I've been working on that now for a year, doing very well. Uh, prognosis very good. Uh, things are going well. And he is still with me. He's still my love and my life. And this is my home. And I love you, Kansas City. Thank you, everyone, for this beautiful, beautiful tribute.